This is a huge milestone for us today, going public on the NASDAQ. Today, Peter Rawlinson is the Chief Executive Officer and Chief Technology Officer of Lucid Motors, a luxury electric vehicle manufacturing company that is among the top contenders in the rapidly growing EV market. He has come a long way to lead his team against the legacy auto industry and the EV sector leaders. But we, the investors in his company, need to look back at his career to understand how he might lead Lucid Group to success as they gear up to delivering their first production electric vehicle, the Lucid Air. In this video, we'll do just that. We will learn about Peter's education, various roles throughout his career, and every step he took to end up as the CEO of Lucid Group, a publicly traded company which we've covered in many videos on this channel, bullacademy.org. Before we get to it, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and comment your thoughts below. Finally, if you'd like to be a part of our patron crew who keep this channel going, join us over at patreon.bowacademy.org. You will get more access to me and be able to discuss the stock market in real time every day in our Discord channel. Now, let's take a trip through the career of Peter Rowlandson, CEO of Lucid Group. In his early years, Rawlinson completed a bachelor's degree in engineering at Imperial College London before starting his impressive career in automotive engineering. Prior to taking on his leadership roles at Lucid, Rawlinson demonstrated his engineering prowess at many other car companies, including his roles at Lotus Cars as Chief Engineer of Advanced Engineering, Jaguar as Principal Engineer, Chorus Automotive as Head of Vehicle Engineering, and most notably, as Vice President and Chief of Engineering for the Model S at Tesla. Peter gets a great deal of attention for his work at Tesla, but his complete resume clearly shows that he's an accomplished and competent veteran in bringing the latest cutting-edge car designs into the world. In 2009, Rawlinson joined Tesla when it was still in the beginning stages of production of the company's first car model, the Roadster electric sports car. At the time, Tesla was just growing from a startup into what it is today, the most recognized electric vehicle brand in the world. It all started with a call between Rawlinson and Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Co-named White Star prior to his release, the Model S all-electric sedan was intended to be the flagship vehicle of Tesla. Compared to the $109,000 Roadster of 2008, the Model S sedan would offer a more modest appearance. It would cater to a wider range of customers interested in driving a completely electric vehicle. At the time, Elon and the team at Tesla had run into problems with their execution of the Model S. They were searching for an engineer who could make a breakthrough so their vision could finally be realized and rolled out for the world to see. At first, Rawlinson was skeptical of the proposition and was unconvinced regarding electric cars generally. But after hearing out Elon, Peter was won over. When he first joined Tesla, he saw that his team was stumped by the challenge of fitting all the advanced inner components of the car inside the body as originally designed. With a determined belief that the Model S was achievable, with additional modifications based on frame concepts of some of the cars he had worked on previously, Rawlinson took command of the engineering team at Tesla, interviewing new members and setting up at SpaceX. His focus for the inner components was the miniaturization of parts while continuing to push for superior performance. This approach is something he has carried on to his latest projects. In 2011, Tesla released a series of videos featuring Rawlinson, who explained some of the features and build of the Model S in great detail. In the videos, Rawlinson highlights the electric powertrain, 17-inch touchscreen in the front interior center stack, the sheet formation of the car's battery pack as a source of torsional rigidity and structural soundness located at the bottom of the car, and the third row of seating over the compact motor and rear suspension that allowed for a total of seven passengers in the vehicle. The Model S has gone through several versions since its inception, but all of them have Rawlinson to thank for paving the way by designing and delivering a viable, profitable EV produced for a wide consumer car market that is increasingly working toward electric power adoption. 
The same year the Model S launched in 2012, Rawlinson left Tesla. After a brief break, the next chapter was a Tiva. With all of the talent, with all of the passion, with all of the hard work that people are putting in to make our product world class and the best vehicle in the world, I felt like this was definitely the place. In 2007, a year ahead of Tesla's first vehicle delivery, Ativa was founded by Sam Wang, founder of Astoria Networks and former Oracle executive, Bernard C, former Tesla vice president, and Chopin Lin. The Rockefeller venture capital apparatus, Venrock, was their initial investor along with Beijing's China Environment Fund for their first two funding rounds. Originally, long before it would become Lucent Motors, the company focused on building batteries and powertrains for other electric vehicle manufacturers, specifically for Chinese EV companies. In 2011, Ativa collaborated with lithium-ion cell maker Lishan to build battery packs for EV buses in China. In 2013, after helping Tesla reach delivery of its flagship Model S months prior, Peter started his chief technology officer role at Ativa. By the end of the year, the company owned 50 patents and successfully implemented their battery packs in many motorcycles, sedans, vans, and buses. Ativa then pivoted to fully producing electric vehicles of its own and repositioned itself for the US market, hiring designers, software engineers, and vehicle engineers to take this path. With Rawlinson on the team, Ativa gained a top engineering lead with an illustrious track record on one hand and the added credibility that comes with it on the other. As CTO, Rawlinson quickly went to work in the design and development of Ativa's vehicle plans for what we now know as the Lucid Air. For a couple months, the company teased pictures of their upcoming EV sedan. The headlines read, Ativa Advis could arrive by 2018 to take on Tesla. But the team had more niche plans than mass market competition. In October of 2016, Ativa changed its name to Lucid Motors to officially mark the beginning of its next chapter. In December of that year, Lucid, with its new dreamy name, unveiled a prototype of the Lucid Air to the public and followed it up with the production model in the fall of 2020. The Lucid Air is a four-door sedan designed to compete against the old guard of luxury vehicles that are powered by gas. In addition to the nitty-gritty engineering work that Rawlinson and his team put into building the Lucid Air, his prowess at Ativa as well as his achievements at Tesla, Chorus, Jaguar, and Lotus attracted the attention of investors who eyed the potential opportunities with this up-and-coming competitor to Tesla in the EV market. At the 2016 Los Angeles Auto Show, where Rawlinson presented a prototype vehicle, he disclosed four investors in the company's Series C round of funding. These noted investors were the Japanese company Mitsu & Co, the Chinese-owned Beijing Auto, the Chinese company Lei Eco, and most notably Venture Rockefeller, otherwise known as Venrock, which has invested more than $2.5 billion in more than 440 companies resulting in 125 initial public offerings. On November 29th of that year, Lucid announced the planned construction of a $700 million manufacturing plant in Casa Grande, Arizona. With an additional enlargement design, the company projects a production capacity of 380,000 cars per year. That plant was completed just over four years later, in 2020. With the accelerated interest in electric vehicles in the following years and the continued work of Rawlinson's team in developing Lucid's ambitious projects, they attracted the attention of investors in Saudi Arabia. In 2018, the company announced that they were in talks with the Public Investment Fund of Saudi Arabia for another round of funding of over $1 billion. There have also been rumors of Lucid constructing the factory in the Gulf country as part of a further partnership with the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Saudi Arabia, which currently has a 60% stake in the company. In February of 2021, Lucid made an agreement for a merger with Churchill Capital Corp 4 CCIV, 
to join the Special Purpose Acquisition Company, or SPAC, already listed on the stock exchange. After experiencing a roller coaster of volatility in the stock price, which rose to nearly $65 on February 18th, before even announcing its plans to go public, the merged company, now called Lucid Group, began trading on the NASDAQ in July 2021 with the ticker symbol LCID. This is a huge milestone for us today, going public on the NASDAQ. We're here today because of an incredible team effort from all my colleagues. This is the key which opens the door for future growth and stability. Lately, the company has been parading the Lucid Air Dream Edition R and the critics have been impressed by virtually every aspect of the vehicle. They have commented that the car adopts the best features of some of the other new premium EVs on the market and improves upon the whole package into an extremely attractive luxury vehicle. Lucid plans to begin deliveries for the Dream Edition R before the end of 2021. Investors should keep a close eye on Rawlinson in the coming years as he takes Lucid Group through the growth that the world is only beginning to witness in the exciting electric vehicle market. As we head into the future of ever greater adoption by consumers, Rawlinson has become a powerhouse in his dual roles at Lucid as the CEO and CTO, which he assumed in April of 2019. Through his track record, Rawlinson demonstrates a deep, seasoned understanding of the nuts and bolts of automotive engineering in general and electric vehicles in particular. He has proven his extensive experience among multiple high-profile car manufacturers as the EV transition has taken off during his career. His work has been consistently at the forefront of innovation and development in the growing battery electric vehicle space and will continue to shape the industry as the technology and capabilities of these vehicles continue the path to a future of sustainable electrified transportation. Peter has also shown himself to be a leader in the industry's charge forward to bring electric vehicles to roads around the country. His upper level engineering roles are a testament to both his own engineering abilities and also his capacity to assemble and collaborate with a high performance team to execute and deliver high quality vehicles. His latest role as CEO of Lucid reflects his years of leadership experience in the automotive industry and his dedication to bringing Lucid's products to the market at the highest standards. Rawlinson's leadership and conviction in Lucid have already attracted substantial investment capital domestically and abroad from Asian companies and investment firms to the now notorious public investment fund of Saudi Arabia. Additionally, his experience as an engineering leader at other car companies gives them an insider edge on the competition. The recent SPAC merger shows Rawlinson again tackling the path of growth for Lucid as the EV market and the general luxury vehicle market continues to evolve. Taking the company public has opened Lucid up to inclusion of retail investors having a stake in one of the most exciting luxury electric vehicle developers of today. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor and like the video below, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and comment your thoughts below on Peter Rawlinson, his career, and how these experiences are going to help Lucid Group continue to compete in the growing EV market against Tesla, Volkswagen, and all the other contenders in this space. And of course, as always, these videos are brought to you by our patrons at patreon.boacademy.org who support the channel financially and help me brainstorm new video ideas to show all of you. So if you would like to support the channel, get more access to me and get direct answers to your investment questions and engage in our Discord channel where we share knowledge and discuss the stock market in real time every day, then join us over at patreon.boacademy.org. I'm Lincoln with boacademy.org. Thank you again and have a great day.